welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. Despite the fact that prostate cancer is one of the leading causes of death among American men, screening are far from perfect. Because of high PSA levels in their blood, many men needlessly undergo biopsies. Dr. Harry Fish is a board-certified urologist. He says that new testing can give much more accurate information so men can avoid the invasive procedure. Dr. Fish, Harry, welcome. Indeed, you are one of the most preeminent urologists in the nation. So let's start with the problem. What is the problem with the current screening for prostate cancer? Well, even before we an answer that, you know, one out of seven men, Manny, has prostate mm, cancer. Yeah. Will get prostate cancer in their lifetime. One out of seven, that's an enormous amount. So the issue is, you know, no man should really die of prostate cancer. So we have to have early detection. And the issues are how do you detect, when do you detect, and are the tests that we have appropriate, and do they lead to unnecessary procedures? And that's where we are today. Right. It's a problem. PSA, the biochemical marker that is drawn on, on blood, so men know what it is again, um, is that a useful tool? It is a useful tool in conjunction with other aspects. For example, screening is very easy, and men should be screened in their 40s and 50s. But screening is very easy with a digital rectal exam, a prostate exam. As you just said, the controversy exists with the PSA test. And what is the controversy? Well, it's not a great test. If you get a PSA level and it's low, okay, chances are you're not going to have prostate cancer. But that's not where the problem is. The problem is when you have a high level, then many men get unnecessary poking and prodding, and many men get biopsies that they don't need. In fact, if you have an elevated PSA over four, let's say, and you get biopsy, three out of four men will not have aggressive cancer. Well, if you have a test where three out of four men are getting biopsies just because of a, of a, of a, uh, of a test that, that indicates that, that that's not a very good test. Right. What we really need is a more sophisticated test. So do we have one? I think we do have one and we're leading towards that way. So, you know, one of the new tests, it's a, it's a more sophisticated PSA test. Right. It's called the 4K score test. Mm -hmm. And what it is, it's a blood test in association with some clinical parameters, such as, you know, the, the results of a digital rectal exam and whether you had a biopsy in the past, accurate, accurately predicts the risk of a man having aggressive cancer. And when I mean aggressive cancer, cancer that's going to kill you. Right. This test that you mentioned, uh, is this something that is being studied or is this now commercially available for doctors and patients to use? It is commercially available right now, but it's been studied over many years at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And the test has been brought out to the public by Opco Health which is a you know, simple blood test uh, in conjunction with a physical examination and a history. Right, so you need the physical exam, which is, again, one of those things that men don't necessarily jump the gun to get. I don't know why, well, I can understand why. But um, so do you think that um, this new test is going to replace the PSA as the initial screening tool or should be in conjunction with? It's in conjunction with, right now, uh, a simple PSA test may be in order, but you, again, have to ask your doctor whether you need it. Uh, in my practice, men do get it, but that's because they, you know, we go over the risks and the benefits of getting that test. As I said, it's, if you have an elevated uh, PSA, uh, it could lead to a lot of unnecessary poking and prodding. But so once you get that, if the PSA is elevated, then you go to these more sophisticated tests. And the reason is because this 4K score test can predict, determine which men won't need a biopsy. As I said before, three out of Four men that get a biopsy don't have cancer. Well, so, we don't want that to happen. All right, so walk me through the sequence. Let's say it's me, 59 years old, I'm overweight, uh, a dash of diabetes, uh, otherwise I'm okay. I get my PSA done, it comes back five. Right. Uh, again, elevated more or less above Correct. four. Um, you're my doctor, you would say, okay, Manny, let me do a rectal exam, let me examine your prostate. You feel that it's not inflamed, there's no nodularity in the prostate. Yeah. Then you also draw this new blood test. Absolutely. And that blood test is so good I could tell you whether you need a biopsy right. or not. Now, the, if that blood test, is there a specific levels or is it yes, just there, 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 are are cut specific, cut there are cutoffs. There are cutoffs. So you say, look, it's not elevated, I think that you're going to be fine. When do we repeat that again? 
Again, it depends on the PSA, because a lot of times it's not so much the number. Like you said, if you had a PSA of five, but it's really the, it, the growth over time or the increase in PSA over time. Because if it's getting, you know, uh, you're doubling every year or every two years, well, that's, that's a risky factor. And then we'd repeat the 4K score. All right, test. so what should men ask their doctor about prostate screening? Well, they shouldn't even ask the doctor. They should be... be but let's assume the doctor is sleeping at the wheel. Yes, they say, I want to get prostate screened. At what age should we start? In, in my practice and in most, most practices between the 40s and 50s. Now, here it is. If you happen to have uh, a family member that died of prostate cancer earlier. earlier, and if you're African American, you tend to get a more aggressive form of prostate cancer earlier. earlier. Exactly. Okay, I'm in my 70s. Should I still get my prostate checked? You should get your prior by digital rectal exam. No more blood tests. N not necessarily. You have to discuss that. It's on an individual basis. Okay, so, but the older men get. Right, don't, right. Get, don't worry about so right. much about prostate but, cancer. But, 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 there's one thing. There's a group of men in this country who've had prostate biopsies, shows no cancer. The urologist keeps on getting more and more and more biopsies. Before you get that next biopsy, get the 4K score test. And get a second opinion. That's with right. With Dr. Fish. That's right. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Where can people get more information? about you know your practice and, and your knowledge but also on this new test well you can always go to harryfish.com but for this specific test 4kscore.com all right well thank you so much good thank to you. see you and if you have any health questions tweet me at dr manny on fox until next time i'm dr manny